症、白内障、涙目のことは札幌井上眼科へ。Good morning, my loves, and welcome back to the vlog. So I booked a join and I smell fishing tour and tempura tasting with Treasure Island short trips. It was sixty pounds for the experience, including lunch and transfers. And then I didn't have breakfast, so I went to Lawson's for a quick breakfast of tuna mayo onigiri, my fave, a dango mochi, and hot fried chicken. The tour picked me up from Sapporo Station, and it took forty minutes via bus. And then, as you arrive at Ishikari, you're brought upstairs to the restaurant where you get two boxes of wellies and over trousers. So I popped them on, and now we're ready, baby. Hello, my love, and welcome back to the vlog, and welcome to Sapporo. Actually, I'm currently at Ishikari, which is forty minute drive away, because I'm about to go ice fishing for the first. Time. I've never done it before, but it looks super fun. You basically go into a little tent and you drill a hole in the ice, and then you go smelt fishing, which then gets turned into tempura, and then we have a lunch here. So I've been looking at all the reviews, and it looks so good. So I'm gonna give it a try, even though I'm not very good with. Things like that. I'm a bit clumsy, so we're just gonna have to see, and hopefully, I don't hook my hands in. But this tour is booked with Treasure Island short trips, and you've got a guide, and we're all gonna be sharing a tent. So let's give it a go and see. I'm all wrapped up warm, and I've got my trousers, I've got my over trousers on, and special boots. Okay, wish me luck. This is ice scoop. Uh, break ice and scoop. Okay. So, a wonderful guide has just talked me through how to do the fishing, and now I have to fend for myself. And I always think if I'm in a survival thing like this, I'll be the first to go. I just don't have that instinct, but maybe today. Maybe this is my calling. Who knows? <laughs> We're about to know. Look at my little chair. Got my little station of my rod, the bait, the scissors, and the ice scooper. And the hole has already been drilled for me. I've hooked up the five little worms into my bait, and the hook is so tiny and so thin. You really, really have to be so careful because the fishing rod is like the fishing line is moving around so much, and then you've got the weight of the sink. So you have to like hook the worms on. Then once you've done that for all five of them, you then have to get scissors and cut it in half, which I'm guessing is to make the guts smell to the fish, maybe. And then I've now lowered it into the hole. So now it's all waiting.、Again. I feel like the fish is gonna know that I'm just stupid, so it's not gonna come and eat my bait. <laughs> Let's help on the way. Is helicopter coming? No, the guide has come over to take pity on me to try and help because it's been nearly an hour and there's been nothing. But all around us, I've heard people cheering that the fish has been caught on their side. So I don't know whether I'm just unlucky or whether the fish have literally not taken the bait and realised that I'm useless and there's no point coming. I still continue in hope. So hopefully next time you see me. We have some fish. Finally, our group managed to get some smellfish after an hour and a half of waiting. The guide went around collecting them all and turned it into a smelt tempura tasting. The fish has been turned to tempura. Which one? Crispy. And then it was time for our lunch. Most of the group had sizzling beef steak on a hot plate, but they also had fried king prawns with vegetarians, as well as a side salad, drinks, and miso. I really get why fishing is such a hobby because it is such a test of patience. But the excitement you feel when the little rod and the line is going like this, you're like, oh my gosh, I found a fish! It was very tasty. And then just had a beef steak. Lunch, delicious. Had some little fries and a little mixed salad, some miso soup, and now it's back on the bus to get back to Sapporo, which is about forty minute drive. So let's go. Really, I thought that was such a memorable activity. I loved it. I journeyed back to Sapporo and went for a little walk around town. I love seeing so much things going around. It makes it feel all the more special.
just got back to the hotel and I've changed into these little pajamas that they've given us. One thing I love about Japanese hotels is that a lot of them always give you like a little PJ set to wear while you're here. But I think this one is for the baths. This is the hotel I'm staying at. It's a really, really good location. Like all of the food spots that I want to go to are all within like a 10 minute walk here. So I'm like ding, 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 ding. But anyway, they also have some public baths downstairs. So I want to check it out and see how it compares to the actual onsen of Hakone because we're in a different city now. Um, and just have a little bit of an unwind because it's been a lot of travel over the past few days and then from there I'm then gonna like think about what I want to eat what I want to do um, over the next two three days in Sapporo um, but the ice fishing was so much fun so if you're into that then I definitely highly, highly recommend it especially if you are traveling with little ones as well the tour that I was on had a few families with like small children and they seem to absolutely love it be great for couples be great for families like it's just like an all-round good one and it's something that's so unique and fun like I've never done it before and ice fishing apparently was actually founded in um, Hokkaido so it's a unique activity anyway I'm gonna go to the bath now yeah. I wish we could have onsens in London. I'm not usually a bath person, but it was such a welcome pick me up after walking around in the snow. Oh my gosh, look at what I just found. There's no one in here right now, so it's just me. But I think this is like a bubbling hot jacuzzi. Oh my gosh, and I get this cool light at the top as well. Okay, so I saw a sign for the relaxation room promising free ice lollies and fancy massage chairs. So I zipped over straight away for a little pamper sesh. After the bath, you can come and get some free ice candy in room R, which I'm guessing stands for relaxation. There's four flavors and I really want to get the melon soda. So I think that's the green one, I think. Are you melon soda? I think it's melon soda. And very, very subtle melon flavor. I found a local isekai nearby called Enya and aside from a big table of Japanese businessmen, I was the only foreigner there. I ordered uni, fatty tuna and ikure to start which was super fresh and went down an absolute tree. I can't remember the exact prices for each dish but it was very affordable and cheaper than Tokyo. And then I went for the sizzling scallops in brown butter. These were cooked perfectly, fresh, plump and full of natural sweetness. I found oysters and obviously had to order them but I ordered eight and I did not realise it was going to be this big. But anyway, I loved them. It was so fresh and then i ended with seafood yakisoba which i was actually pleasantly surprised with and pork and chicken skewers i love the smoky taste and it was tender fatty and juicy After that dinner at the izakaya, which was delicious by the way, all the dishes were so fresh, really really tasty and can, like, compared to the prices of what it would be in Tokyo or even definitely London, um, it was such good value for money. But after that I really now crave some dessert so I've come to this place that apparently does really good pancakes and I'm a big fan of trying to find places that are like highly rated but not too many Google reviews just yet. Um, and trying to find them because a lot of these places don't have um, an English name so it's literally trying to like match up the, the characters on the screens and a lot of them are in high-rise buildings and in office buildings so that this one in particular is on the 11th floor and there's four other businesses so I finally hunted it down and fingers crossed they don't suddenly tell me that they don't have pancakes anymore on the menu because I'm really craving a chocolate and banana pancake or a plain pancake or a tiramisu or a matcha pancake but like Japanese style with a tea. It's getting wild guys it's 10 past 9 on a Thursday evening and I'm craving a hot green tea and pancakes. <laughs> oh a little note about the izakaya I just went to it's called Enya and they were locals only but there is an English menu possible and if you do want to try some delicacies that you wouldn't otherwise maybe get in other places they do things like horse sashimi they do cod milk which is a uh, cod sperm and all of that and i kind of was really intrigued by it but i wasn't hungry enough for it today but 
I, I want to know if you've had it before, let me know what it's like. I loved that pancake and the team were so nice as well. They were super patient to make it because just rocked up at nine, bloody 9 p.m. <laughs> it must have been so annoying and uh, still made it and it looked exactly as it did in the menu, which is always a rarity. But right now I've just come out and it's snowing. It's snowing. <laughs> Can you see it on my coat? Oh, so much of cool. It's honestly so nice, like just being here has felt like an absolute dream and it's just made me love Japan even more because previously I've only really been to the cities of Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka and I did go briefly go to Hakone but I didn't stay uh, for any amount of time apart from it was like a quick day trip so being able to see other places now has just been so wonderful and like I'm just Hokkaido has just been so incredible so far and I'm in love with all the snow and I really want to spend longer here next time and hopefully even spend maybe Christmas here and let me just cross the road make sure I'm okay oh I've got snow on my face right I'm gonna head back to the hotel now because I am sleepy I've been up since 3 a.m working London time look at that and now I'm ready for a tea and a chill but I just wanted to show you this little snowy scene from here feeling long wait it's copyright i can't say that <laughs> 